What's going on everybody? Trev the Dev here. We're back playing Madden. This week we've got the Broncos at home in a rematch of a, I think it was a blowout early on in the week, or early on in the season. Uh, last time we almost blew it against the Chiefs. Uh, we didn't. We came back. Uh, so uh, I think if we win this game we've got the division wrapped up. I'm actually not sure. I'll check that now. Why not? Uh, team standings. Let's see. AFC West. Uh, technically, we could lose out, and the Chargers, I think, would then it come down to tiebreakers. I don't really know who would be better. Um, I think that probably, I think it goes by conference first, might go by division. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but if we win this game, we obviously uh, win the division. So, uh, we'll see. So, it was a good game last time. Uh, I did like the, kind of the sliders. Um, still tweaking them a little bit. Making my run game a little bit uh, less, I don't want to say good, because, you know, it's been good so far, and our pass game a little bit better. Um, but, yeah, we've been we've been running all over people. Um, people have been running all over us, so, you know, uh, we got to see. So, yeah, again, I think we uh, think we had a good game against the Broncos last time, but uh, we will jump right in. Try to go 12-0. Uh, this time, I'm going to switch it up again. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a different playbook. I want to go, I'm going to go with, I want more passing options. Let's go with Indianapolis's, see, see how I like this one. I don't think I have any great formation subs on offense, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll switch it up here, see if we can't get the pass game a little bit more, um, a great of two teams. better, a great I guess. <laughs> Hey, another coin toss win. I'm at the check at the end of the year because I know we're doing pretty well <laughs> in terms of coin tosses. Here we go. Division leader. Looks like San Diego lost. So that means we are the AFC West division champs here in week 13. Not expecting that at the beginning of the year, if I'm being honest. Oh, come on there. Thomas, nice hit by Thomas. Should be... Yeah, I don't know. Spoken Jay back there again. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, i got to check their depth chart real quick because I don't know who their number one receiver is. Looks like it's Javon Walker. Both him and Marshall are both real tall. I'm just going to leave my cornerbacks as they are. Prefer to put Asamoah on the bigger guy, but uh, they're both about the same height. So Starting off with the pitch there. Nice play by Huff getting to the backfield. Going outside, dancing around, and all that stuff, that's not going to help you move the ball. I still can't get over just how crisp this game looks, man. For how old it is, it, it is phenomenal looking. Okay, Cutler taking off. Slides down. Uh, we'll come on a nickel package. Yeah, we'll have four down linemen. Get Huff, or not Huff, uh, Williams in off the edge. He's been a good pass rusher this year. He's been solid, you know. I wasn't expecting much from him. I was expecting him to be our worst linebacker. And I don't really know if that's been the case, to be honest with you. Uh, somebody lost uh, coverage on that guy. I have to look at the tape to see who that was. Not, not very happy giving up that first down on the third set. Washington College basketball. Glad to see that started back up. It'll be a good season. I'm a Big Ten guy. I'm out in the Midwest. So, we'll see what happens. A lot of, a lot of good competition. I think there's... Shoot, four teams in the top eight? Just honestly quite ridiculous. <laughs> Michigan State, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Illinois. It'll be a tight division this year. I'm a Purdue guy myself. Looks in here and uh, let's play two tight ends. I think you're going to run to the left. No, they did another toss. I uh, adjusted wrong, but let's play by Williams. Williams, the two. Shout out the proper guy. I thought 52 was Williams. No, it's Morrison. Good play by Morrison. Uh, I really got to learn the numbers. It's 52, 53, and 54. 
I gotta assign like a like a 99 or something to the number one linebacker on our team or something like that. We'll, we'll think about doing that uh, next season. Come up with some schemes, have a running back number, have a quarterback number, receiver number. You know how the like the the key guy in your position is. Could be something fun, you know. Go back and look through stats after the years gone by. Uh, kind of wanted to take that. Probably not much of a difference. So what do we got here? So yeah, we got we got some more shotgun uh, looks, which is what I was hoping for. No five wide of the shotgun. That's fine. Maybe I gotta find a good playbook. Uh, nobody's on Taylor. Looks like the safety crash now. Had him on an out. Said Porter on an up. So he's off Taylor to the outside. And that's gonna be a pick six to open up the game. Ugh. As you know, he jumped the route. I tried to throw that to the sideline. Is the wrong decision. He's got to get that a little closer to the sideline. He has the arm strength to do it. It's just a bad throw. Maybe not the best decision. That's not how you want to start off the game. Oh, nice blocking. Nice blocking. Nice blocking. One man to beat gets the corner. He got it. Higgins with another kick return touchdown. Wow, what a season. Oh, boy, way to steal the momentum right back from him. Special teams coming up big once more. I want to say that's three on the year? Oh, boy. Yeah, I saw that blocking being set up as soon as I hit that hole. And I knew that if we could beat number 41 down the sideline, that was going to be a touchdown. It was. A couple big plays early on. So we'll go right back to defense. <laughs> so 7-7 seven, seven after we've ran one offensive play. Don't often see that. Yeah, both teams should actually get a jolt from that in different ways. When you're the team that gives up the score, you can't wait to get onto the field to stop their momentum. And if you're the team that took it in, Oh, Washington, nice hit. Special teams again playing well. Haven't really given up, given up a few big, big plays on kick returns, but for the most part, I think, you know, it's been pretty rock solid uh, in special teams so far uh, through, your, uh, through this season. I don't think we've given up a special teams touchdown either, which is very good. Especially because we got three or four. I don't remember if that was our fourth or that was his third. Either way, you know, <laughs> three kick return touchdowns a season. Man, you're going to break the record in like uh, five seasons. Kind of play. Off, get through there. Nice tackle. First down. Sunned in our corner off the edge. Number 35, slot corner. Probably going to be a run here, I'm guessing. Indeed it was. Nice tackle by Morrison. Go Huff down, bring him up to the line, and, and send him on a blitz to the right side. Oh, almost got him. I would have had him if I just had an extra. If it didn't get chipped by the running back, I would have had him for about a seven or eight yard sack. But that's what, uh, that's what the running back stays in for, right? Oh, nice. Way to pop it free, Huff. Went for the pick. A little too aggressive, but luckily he was able to hit Walker. As soon as he got it and knock it down. So very good, very good. Sending in Williams on a blitz. Expecting to run to the right side. They're stacked on that side. Could be a counter to the left though. And pass actually. How about that? Pressure in his face. I don't think that guy could hit the water if he fell out of the boat. And be aggressive, send a blitz off the blind side. Try to get pressure, force a turnover, force a quick throw, you know, something over the middle or something like that. Blitz is coming. Pressure. 
There we go. Way to get him, 53. Derek Burgess, I think that is. No, uh, that is... Uh, who's our outside linebacker? Thomas Howard. Nice, nice uh, way to get the sack, Thomas Howard. Yeah, 53, Thomas Howard. Very good, very good. Called the blitz at the right time. He got the pressure on. And yeah. Break to the outside. Spin move. You know, up to the 20. Right. So now we're starting our second offensive possession. <laughs> and want to hold on to the ball for sure. <clears throat> Start off with a run instead of going to the pass right away. Run's been our bread and butter this season. We shift it over. Check down to a play action. Miller over the middle. Not the, not the best throw, but luckily he got it. <laughs> he got it. Just thought he would a uh, bit of a bigger step on the linebacker. Didn't, but didn't matter. Luckily we got we got you know we got away with one. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Bushing here for dry, or for play, counter play. Oh, big hole to the outside. Set up the block. <laughs> Nice little 13-yard run. Yeah, nice little three-yard run by Dominic Rhodes. What else we got for single back? We have a four-wide set. We do have a four-wide set. How about that? I love a four wide set from from uh, single back. Yep, nickel, so we have personnel. Probably in the zone, so Taylor. And eh, they did crash down with the safety. Looks like they might be doubling Porter. If they're in the zone, Taylor's going to be wide open over the middle. I wouldn't say he was wide open. Uh, and I kind of laser focused in on him. Not a great throw. Let's see if we can't uh, get something here. Go slants over the middle. Probably playing press, if I had to guess. It didn't look like they were. Taylor! Fourth down. We're close enough. We're going to go for it. Pullback dive, baby. Old school football. Mm. Griffith to the outside. Stiff arms one, man. Stiff arms another. And wow, 15 yards. Pick up first. Means we got to go deep. Try to take advantage. You know, morale might be down for them. Came out and looks like their base package. Uh, we got the wheel route on with Rhodes over the middle. He is wide, wide open. Nobody within 10 yards of him. Breaks one tackle, gets down to the four yard line. Try to bust it in here with our big down. Michael Bush back. I'm mm, probably guessing we're on slants. I want slants, I think. Send him on a slant. Send him on a slant. One of them might be their man. I did not. Bush is kind of open. Nice grab. Way to get it around the lineman. Touchdown, Michael Bush. Big play. Budge, Mark Russell. Give the drive MVP to Justin Griffith on that, picking up the fourth down conversion. Big, uh, big game, you know, 15 or so yards. Got us into a uh, good position to score, took advantage, and uh, got the touchdown. Marcus also, also played well on that on that drive. Got a little lucky on that pass to Zach Miller over the middle, but he made some good throws otherwise. This one is handled by Morgan. Come on, Washington, gotta make the tackle. I see you, Janikowski. Don't think I didn't see you getting down there. Yeah, that's props. See you on film. Shouts out. Sebastian Janikowski out there. Interested to watch the Ravens Steelers game tomorrow. I'm recording this on Tuesday. Uh, I know the Ravens and Steelers game got delayed to Wednesday, which is when this will go live. So that's gonna be an interesting, interesting little matchup. Yeah, first quarter. 
Bit of a wild game. RV had scores by all three facets of the game. Special teams, defense, and offense. Don't often see that in one quarter. Don't often see that in a game, <laughs> let alone one quarter. Play action. I got a little beat there. That's absolutely my fault. Javon Walker breaking down. Bit too hard on the play action. Should have should have stayed back a little further. Bad play by me. Getting up a few of those this year. That's maybe four, four or five. Ah oh, man, I gotta stop doing that. It's a, it's an adjustment I gotta make next season. You know, I, I like playing the run game, especially as a strong safety, but I, I can't be doing that. Oh, yeah, Rams putting up 51 points. Side, we got a touchdown return earlier in the game. Beat one guy, nice block into the outside, up to the 35. Another big return by Johnny Lee Higgins. Go big here. It's not a counter. Pull our guard, follow the fullback. It's my favorite play. Oh, look at the blocking up front. Gets one guy. Eh, we could have maybe got a few more yards if we cut inside, but take four yards every time. One more run here up the gut. Shift the line. Got two guys on the weak side. We'll go that way instead. Linebacker shot through the gap. Good play by the line. Good, uh, good play. Backfield and stop the play for no game. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. It's third down and seven to go. Three through five nickel. We're in a shotgun. Our, let's see here. I think they got, eh, I don't know. Miller is probably my target here. He's wide open, it looks like, on the cut. Nice grab by Miller. Gonna, we're going to go a little hurry up here. Play a little different. You know, play the play the Colts brand of uh, offense a little bit here. Why not? Looks like they got their linebacker. Probably man on Bush. He is indeed. We're just going to toss this one away. Didn't like any looks. Let's go back to the run. That's what we do. That's what we do here. And they do have the best pass defense in the league. I mean, they have Champ Bailey and Drake or Pat, or, uh, Dre Bly. Both very, very good in this game. Oh, hey, uh, skips a block, or skips a tackle by Mike Rhodes. Third and five. Look at the halfback screen out of this formation. Doesn't look like it. I do want a screenplay, I think, here. Halfback screen, not a, not a wide-out screen. Don't run too many of these. Um, doesn't look like they're in man. Looks like they're maybe in a cover three or cover two. Uh, it's in a blitz. That is dangerous. I did not feel the pressure quick enough. Fortunately, I don't think there's really a way to throw it at his feet, which is what I would have done in real life. But So, where's the defense wrong? Paid for it. Try and call for a screen. Get a little cheeky. Should have just stuck with a you know a short pass or something. Zach Miller, good kick. See if 35 can get there, and he knocks it down at the six. <laughs> Let's go special teams. Once more coming up big. Now we're gonna get aggressive. Mm, yeah, we're gonna send the safety in off the edge. Pitch play, get out there. Nice tackle. Way to go, Kirk Morrison. Expecting another run, I think. So we're going to shoot the, shoot the backers on the outside here. Pinch the line. Play action again. Michael Huff, nice interception. There we go, Michael Huff. Hopped off my guys. I saw he was going to throw it. Big play. Makes up for the uh, touchdown, I think. Got great field position to punch it in, maybe. Well, it's going to only get a few yards. Go big here again. Want to run it up the gut. We need a seal here and a seal there. Uh, we'll shift over to this side. 
And I like running to the weak side generally. Now we gotta we gotta keep going to the strong side here. Nice, uh, nice little jump. Cut by Rhodes. Picks up five. Good spot. And for Miller over the middle on the, I guess you call this a post. I mean, not really a post, but uh, not really a seam. On the break, couldn't get there. Bush wide open in the end zone. Another grab. It's a touchdown. All right, Michael Bush. Way to break up field. Uh, mistake by the cornerback there. He's playing a flat zone, and he did not recognize Bush leaking out upfield. Um, if he did, I probably would have ran the ball, but uh, he made the wrong, de wrong decision. And we were rewarded with another touchdown throw to Michael Bush. So another good play by Jamarcus Russell. I'll tell you that much. Michael Bush. Boom. Nice kick. And dive with all these guys. This one is by Last time the defense was on the field, they forced a bad throw, picked up a takeaway. First So blitzing in Cutler's face has worked out well so far. Got some sacks, got some pick, got a pick. So we gotta keep the pressure up, I think. No reason to get soft. That's what we're doing here, sending uh zone blitz. And another run play. Cheating back a little bit whenever I'm playing deep zone with with Huff. Don't want to get beat over the top again. Especially if we're getting great penetration uh, up front. Another toss. Huff couldn't make the tackle. We got tons of guys over here on the backup. Good play by the defense. Did the same thing here. So another man blitz in. Play, play press to the outside. <clears throat> Somebody tackle him. No, oh, first down. Come on, guys. Had the, uh, had the blitz on. Couldn't, uh, couldn't get him. Hyper aggressive here. Sending in eight men off the, on the blitz. It's like a halfback dive or a counter. And we had too many guys to account for. Nice, nice TFL by, by Bush. That's a very good call by the defensive coordinator. He had a good idea of what was coming, and he called the perfect play to stop. Number six, the work out of the shotgun. Gives the ball off. Morrison is there on the stop. Morrison, that's got to be like his seventh tackle now. <laughs> He's uh, He is a tackling machine in the middle of our defense. Him and Huff are both playing high level football this year. I would say. Oh, come on, guys. <clears throat> I know we we're in cover three, but yeah, this is a zone beater. Maybe should have been in man. Or better in man. I, I should I should learn from my mistakes. You know, we got we got the personnel to play man. We're not blitzing. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Won't beat myself up over it, but I always hate when I'm watching football and I see a, a third and long and they play soft zone. And I did the same thing, so I guess I'm no smarter than an NFL, NFL coach. Uh, but I definitely want to go more man. I think it's I think it's generally worked out better for us this year. Open over the top. Huff. Oh, wow, what a grab by Marshall. Triple coverage. Jay Cutler, Smoking Jay, throwing it up there. Came down with it. <clears throat> Would love Schweiger to come over there. That's his man. You know, knock that ball down. I could have as well. I went for the aggressive pick. Uh, quarterback boot interesting play call I gotta say not something I would call I mean, Jay Cutler is not the slowest guy or he wasn't you know when he was a little bit younger in his later years he's not the most athletic guy but uh, he, he's no uh, not slow poke but uh, certainly an interesting play call not, not something that I would have done I ran this play a few times I gotta, I'm recognizing Whenever they shift that guy over, they're calling for the counter. So if they, they pull play action out of that, uh, they could beat me deep. So I am crashing down a little bit whenever they do that. Uh, come on, Washington. Here they come. 
Oh, 30. Schweiger, he threw that right to you. Now they're on the goal line, knocking on the door, playing press, man blitz. It's our best shot. We've played well so far in this game with this uh, scheme. We're probably running it right here. They're not. And Washington, I don't know what you're doing there, man. you got to go up for the knockdown. He's too big. Just threw it up there. Disappointing play by Washington. Touchdown for the Broncos. A little, uh, a little frustrated with uh, Washington, as I have been this year. Again, I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but my plan for now in the offseason is probably to convert him to our free safety, maybe even have Schweiger play corner. Uh, it can't be any worse than Washington's been. But I think, uh, I think Washington's skills will work well at the free safety position. Uh, he's got the speed to burn, uh, would allow me to play a little bit higher or lower in the box with... Huff, just not going to do that in the middle of the season because I don't really think it's something that is realistic. But uh, definitely a number two corner is one of our biggest uh, holes that we got to fill on defense. Probably just going to run the ball out, I think. We're going to call it play action. How about that for a play name? We're a little bit of clock out. <clears throat> and we get like eight or nine yards, you know, maybe we could go for it, but, you know, second and 15, I doubt him we're going to get the first down, and I don't really want to give them the ball back with that much time left on the clock. He hands it off, fakes the handoff, pressure coming. And the second. Not a good sack. Took a little bit too long for that play to develop, I think. Go something a little deeper. I want to get maybe, you know, Seven, eight, nine, ten yards. We get a better punt here. So looking for Higgins or Porter on the deep curl. Higgins is kind of open. We're going to bomb it deep. Higgins got a step. Oh, couldn't grab it. Oh, man, that would have been one heck of a play. Didn't work out. Should be able to, you know, punt this ball. Good, good distance. Hopefully they're not going to have a return. Not call a fair catch. It's a little interesting. But they're at 35. At the 34. I don't think they're going to go for it. We'll, we'll play with simple two-man under scheme. Um, I would imagine they're going to run. I think, I don't remember the kickers. I think it's Jason Elam. So he's got a big leg. So, you know, he, he could potentially get it. So we got to, you know, stay deep. Hey, nice knockdown by Morrison. Way to make a play on the ball, kid. The Raiders line up in a Another four two man. Come on, Schweiger. What the heck are you doing, man? What was that? <laughs> that is awful. Man, you can't get. Can't get beat deep right there, man. What is he doing? Oh, boy. That's another reason I, I kind of want to move. And Marshall scores another touchdown. Way to go, Fabian Washington. If that's even your guy. I don't know. Yeah, that's your guy. Where are you at? What was that coverage? What was that coverage? Goodness me, man. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a switch we got to make. I don't know if it's going to help, but it can't be much worse than the stuff these guys have pulled this year. I, I, won't, I won't get into Schweiger too much. You know, he hasn't been a big negative for us this year. But Washington, it's just been awful. I know he's rated 92 or something like that, 90. He does not play like that, man. I'll tell you that much. So, I don't know. I'm not going to put that all on them. You know, we probably should have ran the ball out um, on offense. Higgins is going to pick the ball up eventually. This one is taken by Higgins. Oh, breaks one tackle. So the offense takes over. The last time they had the ball, they had a very tough time getting anything going. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it'll put a little bit on the offense. We couldn't really move the ball. And ended up taking a big sack. And they did have decent field position off the punt. We're just going to run this one out. Going to halftime, we are getting the ball back. But uh, faces some adversity here uh, at home against the Broncos. Playing a little bit like days ago. I know we did clinch a division, but...
All right, let's take a look at these halftime statistics. So they're out gaining us, obviously. Uh, we had a, an interception down in their red zone, or our red zone. I don't know. We got an interception that put us in the red zone. How about that? And we also had the kick return touchdown. Um, and then, you know, that other drive, we had another big kick return. So I uh, haven't really been doing much on offense. Uh, they're shutting down the run game pretty effectively. I mean, we just really haven't had the ball. I mean, they've, they've ran 32 offensive plays. We ran 21. Um, <clears throat> and, of course, they had the big big drive at the end of the half. Disappointing. Uh, you know, Russell's playing pretty well. I did have that pick on the first throw. But since then, he is 6 for 10, two touchdowns, 75 yards. You know, decent game. Cutler playing well as well. Uh, got a... Step up a little bit. Uh, we're shutting down the run game, but uh, we got to, you know, get some more rushes. Rhodes is 8 for 8. It's not what you want to see. Marshall, um, I, have to, I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna switch sides for my corners in the second half because what we're doing right now is not working, so I think we got to do that. Hey, I'm going to do real. How about that? Dan Huff got a pick, and Nick Ferguson had the pick six, so... Uh, pause here real quick and go. We're gonna switch. Asuma and Washington, I think, to the other sides of the field. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna move him down. We might even do that next game. Uh, move him down to corner and then move Washington up to the free safety slot. We'll see. We'll see. Again, I just I really don't want to do it now because it doesn't really feel realistic to do that in the season. This one is handled by Higgins. Nice, another nice return. Got some more blocking. Broke the tackle. Yeah, I'll take a 30. 29. So, Rhodes hasn't done much. He keeps getting stuffed. Gonna have to go back to Bush because Bush has, uh, you know, a couple big plays. Two touchdown receptions, obviously, and he had a few big runs in there. Yeah. Nothing there. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the pretty Broncos safe. Come out in a four three. Drops back. Miller to the outside. Nice toss by Russell. Huge play. At the and that, you know, trusted him to make that throw, even though that was the interception. Similar type throw, out route to the tight end. Paid off that time, so got to stick with it. Yeah, shifting there to the linebackers down. He's going to run it up the gut with Bush. Look at that. Nice little five yards camper. Keep him in here. He is running way more effectively. Can't go away from Rhodes. He's been our best player on offense this year, but uh, this game, not so much. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I don't know. Let me go on this way instead. Set the blockers up. Ooh, nice block to the outside. Yeah, Bush, another 10-yard run. Catch him out here. You know, shotgun. Just flare out. Maybe to Rhodes. Of course, we got Taylor and Higgins uh, on the inside. They're in a 3 3 5. We're going to send Taylor on an out. Porter on the up. Corner, or their uh, right outside, left outside linebacker is probably going to sink into. Zone and that should free up Rhodes pretty much wide open, or he's just not going to be out there to be much. So nice little uh, you know, five-yard game. So identified the matchup and it worked out. That's what you got to do whenever you're playing a tough aerial defense like the Broncos. Keep going with Bush here on this drive. We're blocking better for him, that's for sure. Get off me. <laughs> Need all of them. Go with a, a run up the middle with Rhodes, put him back in. And keep our running backs fresh. Been one of our biggest strengths this year, having, having two guys that can handle the handle the load. Yeah, you know, a three yard run. Let's go with a little bit of play action. Let's see what they come out in. I remember Denver being kind of a man-heavy team back in the day. Looks like they are maybe in zone, but Griffith released. Down to the five. 
Driving. We are driving. Counter out to the left. Don't have a week on this, so you know we got to flip. If we're gonna go weak. You know, come out strong and flip it. I like the counter here. Couldn't break the tackle. Not the best play. Like a draw from the ten yard line. See what they come out. And they are in nickel. It looks like they're kind of vacating the middle of the field. So I like the draw play here. Nice block by the center. And I got a hold. <clears throat> Gallery. Yeah. Now we're in the 25. Got to get some yardage back if we're going to hope to score a touchdown here. Obviously, we really need one here. Keep pace with them. We're in a 43, but I'm guessing they're in a two-man under kind of scheme. Higgins on a break. That was not a good throw. I thought he was going to be a man. Looks like he was in his own. This is a bad decision. Marked. Luckily, we were not hurt by it. Double drags. Hopefully, then, man, maybe one of the strong safety can creep up, help on Higgins' reporter, and Zayvon Miller's going to be open over the middle. Doesn't look like it. Just gotta throw this one away. I tried to hit the button. Believe me, you. I tried to hit the button. I say bad sack. You got the wind. <laughs> this is 60 yards. Uh, I should have just stayed in there and taken the sack. That was a bad play. Let's see. It's up. It's looking good. Oh, it just falls short. Hits the stanchion, or whatever you call the the padding. So, probably should have punted it in hindsight. You gotta see if our defense can't come up big. So, uh, all in all, just a horrific way to end that drive. Hey, nice pressure. Derek Burgess or Williams. That was Williams. So, good pressure. Forces him into a second and long. Shift down to a man. I'm guessing they're going to run to the left here. I'll creep up a touch. Counterplay. Beats the block. <laughs> Third and six. Send Thomas Howard in off a of blitz. See if we can get some more pressure. We really got to stop him here. They could maybe kick the field goal. It would be a long one. I don't think they would just because of the wind. Yeah, shift here. Get Howard out to the, the, the guy out there. And Javon Walker gets the first down. What do you know? We put Washington on the right side, and they throw it to the right side. We have Washington on the left side, they throw it to the left side. What's a guy supposed to do? Surprised it wasn't play action. Forward for a gain of four. And six. All on the 29 yard line. Not today. All day, baby. Come on. Time to blitz again. I'm not coming up that close. Don't make the play. Looking upfield. Great fake. Somebody. Thank you, Burgess. Way to get out there. Here we go with the nickel on an extra corner. I don't think they're going to run it. Third and six is just a little too long usually to run the ball. Uh, we're going to focus in on Marshall here. All right. Hey, Schweiger coming up with the interception off the tip. Let's go, Stuart Schweiger. we got to take advantage of that now, you know. He, he let up that big uh, play in the, at the end of the first half. And, you know, comes back, makes a pick in the second half, makes up for it. Now we got to you know, march down, methodical, and we got to score here. And our rush defense is just locking down. Got to do something. Got to do something, man. Uh, I don't know. Passing game has been kind of working this game, I would say. Had some poor decisions that uh, by me. Strong safety has come down. Oh, nothing but open grass in front of us. we got to run this one. Take it down. Get out of bounds. It's a little 11-yard run.
I said, I'm not going to abandon the run game, but uh, passing the first down, especially when we have personnel advantage when they come out in the 4-3, as they often like to do. Uh, this is what I like to see. Sent the linebacker on a blitz. Miller, come on. you got to hold on to that one. It's wide open. Wide, wide open. you got to hold on to that one, man. Keep Rhodes in the blitz. Looks like they may be bringing pressure in off the edge. They're not. They're not to the left here. Go upfield, Williams. Going to try it deep. Hey, what a grab. Nice play by Williams. I did use him. Yeah, is it a little cheap sometimes? Maybe. But, you know. Got to make the play. Got to make the play. Break up field. Just gets back to the line. Man, they're just shutting down the run. Play. I tell you what. Best, uh, best defensive performance against the run I think uh, any team's had against us this year. As opposed to a few games ago when uh, Dominic Rhodes overtook... Jamal Williams as the single game rushing leader. Adrian Peterson in real life, obviously, but uh, that game happened his rookie season, if you don't recall. Miller to the outside. Nice grab by Miller. They had a little bit of extra pressure. Uh, luckily, we were able to get rid of it in time. Or slants here. I like the slants on the third and short. Fourth quarter comeback. Of course, that was against the Chargers. Epic game. Taylor on the break. Nice grab. Ooh, that was a dangerous throw. Let's see if we can't get something in the run in the run game here when we're down in the uh, in the red zone. And they're in base personnel. They got their linebackers crashed over to the strong side. We're gonna run up the middle. Two yards, maybe. Let's go. Let's go single back. Maybe a zone block will happen. I don't know. They've just been absolutely eating up any run that we've had. Man, they got their linebackers hard shifted over there, so we're going to definitely go to the left here. Just couldn't, couldn't get up, upfield, couldn't get outside, couldn't get inside. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, go the slot. We go out and up with Zach Miller. He's been, uh, he's been the best receiver for us this game, I think. So we're going to hope that he can uh, beat his man. The Broncos come out in the quarter defense. Pumps once. Oh, oh. Go oh, no, over there, Russell. The couldn't, couldn't get to the outside. Nothing. I didn't see anything open on the passing game. Just couldn't take the points. Not late enough to go for it, I think, in this, case, in this uh, situation. <clears throat> so, defense has played well in the second half. Both defenses have, uh, really. So we're going to have to ask him to do it again. The Raiders get closer but still need another score. I think that this team has really created some opportunities and has grabbed the momentum. Good distance. Probably going to return this one, I'm guessing. DJ Will Bing getting downfield. Couldn't make the hit. Oh, wow, 55. Lays the wood. Lays the wood. He sends some extra pressure in from the linebackers. This, uh... Oh, come on, Schweiger. Almost made a huge second interception. Let's see what happens here on this replay. Yeah, he was inches away. I'd love to see him come away with that one. Maybe he should have. I don't know. Maybe Washington would have. I don't know. Tough to say. Tough to say. Oh, send in another blitz with our with Williams to the outside there. Going for the strip. Couldn't get it. Six tackles, that seems a little low. The Raiders line up in a four three. Graham, the man in motion. A little misdirection. Somebody, please. I don't want to make that tackle Morrison. Another tackle in the run game. Huge third down here. The game does not necessarily hinge on this, but this is a huge, huge play. we got to get a stop here. Need a stop. Come on, defense. Done it all year. Let's do it one more time. Play press on the outside. Let's 
There we go. Pressure got to him. Forced an incompletion. They're going to punt it. We're going to get the ball back. We'll see if Russell can't uh, keep up his strong showing after that early interception. He's trying to pin them back as far as possible as he lines see up with that his punt they get. Punt. Well, could be good. We're going to hope that bounces through. Indeed it does. Yeah, a touchback. Got plenty of time. Could run our full offense. No reason to get married to the pass at this game. Abandon the run. Still got plenty of time here. Six and a half minutes. Oh, six minutes. Four yard. Three and a half yard. Good start on the drive, of course. Shifting everybody over to the right side. That means we're going to cut it back. Misdirection to the left side. Uh, big block by the left guard. Put this forward. That's a little six yard gain. Dominic Rhodes. With a bit of a deeper option. Okay, yeah, I have a safe guy. Um, I like what I'm seeing to the outside here. Hoping that uh, their linebacker sits into his zone. Looks like he will. Go upfield. Taylor, over the top. Nice grab. Hey, down to the 26-yard line. Let's go, Taylor. And linebacker on a receiver. Eric is asking for trouble. He works his receivers very hard during the week so that they can make the big plays when the game's on the line. And that play was just the kind of... Same thing. They're crashing everybody to the left. We're going to misdirect and run to the right. Dominic Rhodes spins back. Six yards. Go single back between the guard and tackle to the left side. Don't love the look. They're linebackers as they are. Crashing down with their free safety. Hoping Williams can get open on the top and send him on a fade. Not there. Just got to throw it away. Thank you very much. Almost took sack. <laughs> Nothing there, nothing there. Uh, so, big play here, obviously. Probably would go, yeah, we'll definitely go for it if we don't get it here. So, you know, we got options. Uh, 3 3 5. Interesting look. Not sure what I'm seeing here. We'll, we'll go for it. Send a blitz. Bush on the curl or uh, angle route. Nice grab. Michael Bush coming up big in the pass game once more this game. Luckily, I recognized that the outside linebacker uh, that was on Bush's side of the formation did end up blitzing on that play, if you, if you can't see that. Um, so their other guy uh, crashed a little hard to the outside on the angle route. Maybe he was expecting an out. He caught back in, and then we were open for the uh, for the pass. So. Five-yard run. We're getting, you know, we're knocking on the door. It's, you know, it's big-time football here. we got a... You know, got to get big, step up, pound this ball in in here, and uh, another fourth quarter comeback against a divisional foe. Rhodes up the middle. Ooh, nice tackle by 58. Almost had it. And that's going to take us two minutes. I'm not going to run this play. i got to think about what I want to do. want to run the ball. Yeah, I think I want to run the ball. Not going to go goal line. We'll, we'll come out in our eye form. They're in the goal line package. To me, that means I want to do something quick. See if Miller can get a quick out. Porter gets a, a slant to the inside. Get just enough protection. Keep bushing as well. So I'm hoping uh, that corner is not playing man. Uh, we should have Porter. If he is playing man, we should have Miller. Oh, man. Panic just a little bit too quickly. Now, what is the play? We're going to call a draw. Uh, we're not going to go with a draw. They got goal line set. So, this here tells me we got to go quick. I think Rhodes will probably be open. So, I'm guessing their free safety is playing a hook or a deep. And they probably have man coverage on Williams. He'll take the cornerback, and we'll look at Rhodes. Indeed, that's what happened. Rhodes grab it, gets upfield. Touchdown, Dominic Rhodes. <laughs> Let's go, Raiders. Another big play by Jamarcus Russell. 
third passing touchdown to his running backs today. So, again, luckily we were able to identify a weakness in their coverage scheme, took advantage, got the touchdown, we're up in the fourth quarter. Just need another big stop from our defense. And this will be a great win. Fantastic win, even. I hate the cinematic camera. I mean, it's cool looking, but it does not allow me to get onto my coverage unit quick enough. But Osmo's down there. And 57 makes a nice tackle. So they also have two timeouts. They have two minutes. They have deep threats, so they don't need to, you know, abandon the run necessarily. But we gotta hold them. Gotta hold them here. Come on, what are you doing, Osmo? Don't go for the tip. And there's even a face mask towards the end. That's going to stop the clock. That's a horrible penalty by Schweiger. So we also cannot get passive here. Send a little pressure in with our outside linebacker. Yeah, we, I can't really afford to get passive here, though. Because, you know, if they get in the field goal range, obviously, we don't want that to happen. Nice play by Asimov. Awesome Max that one down. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Sending a, a linebacker blitz. Get, get a little risky, of course. Hey, pressure got there. Pressure got there. Big play here. Big play here. So Schweiger, got to get over the top. Nothing behind you, bud. And knocked down. Way to go, Stuart Schweiger. I think that was Schweiger in the 36. Uh, I think that was him. I must have said his number wrong. It must have been 30. So, fourth and 10. Biggest play of the ball game. Going deep. Knock it down, please. Thank you very much. All right, so the game is not over. There's still have three timeouts. we got to get a first down. First down seals the victory. Seals another fourth quarter comeback against a divisional foe. It's time to get big. Griffith gets back to the line. Not a not a great run. They got penetration too quickly for us to do much with that. Huge run by Bush. That gets us just about to the first down line. Third and two. We're going big. I have a boot. I think I have a boot. I want to go PA Waggle. I'm guessing they're going to crash down. Russell's athletic enough. I want to get him out of the pocket. We're going to actually shift this to the other side. I'd love to run to the left. It's a bit dangerous. We can just you know take it down and slide if, if need be. Get up field. Get up field. No fumble. First down, Jamarcus Russell. That'll seal the deal. Just call a couple meals. We'll get out of here. 12 0, division champs in the driver's seat for the AFC. And yeah, we got the last quarter of the season. Got to wrap that up. Got to call timeout. So, you know, that's a, that's a huge win for us. Puts us ever closer to getting home field throughout the playoffs. Uh, another fourth quarter comeback, like I said, by Russell. He played. You know, really, really well, especially after that first play, opening play, uh, pick six that we had in the first quarter. Uh, Johnny Lee Higgins, of course, had a huge kick return to kind of steal the momentum back from us after that play happened. So, shouts out to him. He played well. All three facets, I would say, today. Um, you know, maybe a little bit uh, not the greatest on the backside coverage with our uh, safeties and corners. Uh, we could, yeah, I think I might switch uh, Washington to strong or free safety and put Schweiger as our cornerback two for the rest of the season. Take a kneel here and then I'll run out the clock. You better kick it here. So, yeah, I'm very happy with uh, how he's done. 
And we'll uh, take a look at the stats at the end of this. Uh, obviously, I'm not kicking it. Take a look at some stats. There's always the difference in this high-scoring affair. Both teams showing plenty of potency offensively. So, yeah, I don't know. Team MVP, I would say you give it to that guy right there, Jamarcus Russell. Again, played played well, uh, especially down in the red zone. Did have that one uh, drive where I took a sack unnecessarily. Uh, where we were down in the red zone, got the clip, and then the, the, the big sack took us out of field goal range. But didn't end up burning us in the end. Uh, so, we, you know, we definitely came back. Uh, they were outgaining us by quite a bit in the first half. Uh, we pretty much matched them uh, in terms of the total game. A defense with a shutout in the second half, that's huge. You know, they stepped up real big time. Uh, they We both played really well against the run. We had a couple big runs in the second half. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, played pretty well on Cutler. You know, got, got good pressure with some blitzes off the edge. He did beat us over the top a few times. Again, kick return yards and special teams are just phenomenal this year. So, see there, Russell, 15 for 20. That means 15 for 23 after that pick six uh, with three touchdowns and that big scramble on third down to seal the deal. Cutler again. Uh, I think he had all three touchdowns in the first half. Yeah, obviously. We shut him out in the second half. So, nothing big in the run game. Bush was obviously better. You know, we definitely stuck with him uh, a little bit more in the second half, which worked out for the most part. Griffith, of course, had that big run. Uh, to pick up the fourth down conversion led to a touchdown. Zach Miller is our go-to guy today. Four touchdowns for 53, or four receptions for 53 yards. And I spread the ball around, but I uh, got two touchdowns to Bush, one to Rhodes, so three in total to our running backs. Uh, DJ Williams was great all over the field. Uh, he was stopping the run all day. Same thing with Morrison. He was, you know, coming up with some big hits. Thomas Howard only had one sack for our team, but we got pressure on him all day. And then, of course, Schweiger with that pick. He did allow the touchdown over the top, but, you know, kind of made up for it with the pick. Uh, Janikowski missed that long 60-yarder. Maybe could have got it, but he didn't. You know, it's what it is. Still kicking well. And then Leckler, uh, another 45-yard-plus average. So, yeah, it's a good game. We'll check out, see who we're playing next week. <clears throat> 12-0, of course. It looks like the Bears dropped uh, one more after they lost it. So, play the Packers. It should be a tough matchup, but they have a good team. You know, Brett Favre, you know, tail end of his career. I wonder if they're starting uh, Rodgers. I know, I know I made him better because, obviously, he's obviously Hall of Famer uh, in real life. So, he's one of the guys I made a little bit better at the start of this uh, franchise mode. So, um, if we do win another one, you know, we could be 13-0. and We'll just take a quick look at our... Standings. I think that means we've clinched. Yes, we have. We clinched divisional title, first in the in the league to clinch a playoff spot. So very, very good. Like this uh, clinch playoff berth. It's actually spelled wrong. I think it's supposed to be B E R T H. Pretty sure I, I could be wrong on that. But yeah, uh, great win uh, against a divisional opponent. I'm just gonna hop on over here. Just take a quick look at our remaining schedule. So who know what we got on tap. So we've got the Packers, um, Colts, Jags, and Chargers to finish out the year. Easily our toughest four-game stretch, I would say, of this entire year. Uh, play Every team that we play from here on out is above 500 or 500 right now. Chargers could, you know, go either way. But, yeah, uh, so great win. And we've had a couple great games back-to-back -back against divisional opponents. But, uh, you know what, we will, if you enjoyed the video, appreciate you guys liking, comment, subscribing. Uh, this was a fun game to play. And we will see you all in the next video. See ya.